here we go again. Reptile Room Redesign 3. Okay, so here's a plan. I got this big bad boy here, this husky shelf. 90 inch wide, 24 wide, or length, or whatever it is. Uh, 90 inch high. It's pretty big. Supports 7,500 pounds. I had to put it in the hallway. <laughs> so as you can see, this is my daughter's room, and she's going to need new soon, because this five-year-old girl is growing. This entertainment shelf is going. So everything here, I need to figure out what I'm going to do with. All this here, the shelf here, I should say, is going to go. And that's where that big shelf is going to go here. With all my snakes and lizards and, well, mostly snakes. And Medusa over there is going to go here too as well. So it's going to be way up top. Could even put my water, possibly aquarium, when I'm looking at upgrading over there. My frogs like Java. So first things first, I gotta start clearing a path or just clearing stuff out of this room so I could start building, well, clear stuff out of the room first and then take this down, take all the pets off and then take the commission that and then I can start building that over here. Now, the last re uh, room redesign that you saw my kid wasn't sleeping here, so I can only go as far as uh, her sleeping pattern will allow me, which is around 10, 10.30, but I don't want to go past 10 because the neighbors will pretty much be upset. So here we go. All right, first things first. Clear the path because I'm going to move my uh, workbench out to the patio. This is a problem. My first oopsie. Can't close the screen door. So I gotta pound this out. I think that'll work. Perfect. You know, the funny thing about this is that the last time I did my redesigned this became a full-fledged like reptile room it was a friday night because i remember i was uh had the tv in here watching uh metal mania whatever the heck vh1 classic calls it you know try to throw back from headbangers ball days and i was in there that's when the kid was still sleeping in our room and it's kind of odd it's friday night <laughs> and metal mania is going to be on i'll probably try to get as far as i can because i think it comes on at 10 o'clock and usually I cuddle with my, uh, my ball python sugar, my white leucistic. Okay, so nice area to start working with. Gotta clear these guys out before I start building. Probably take out the pitchers, because they'll be behind that. All right, so I started with the easy one. My hermit crab, I'm gonna get the ones that are not connected to any heat, which is not many, which is actually one voodoo. But we'll have to make this work. Sorry, sugar. I know. You're kind of like basketball. Oh. Sorry, Ninja. Before you judge, I know that wasn't that it wasn't the smartest way to lift those cages because it could break and break me, injured the uh, gecko, of course, forget about my well-being, but, you know, don't judge. I think I'll just push this <sighs> over here. <sighs> this is just a big Yeah, take down my lights. What's up? Well, I, 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 I
Yeah, but honey, there's a lot of stuff going on. I don't want you to get hurt. You understand? Okay, uh, 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 can I say hello? Oh, say hello to the camera. Hello! <laughs> and this is my daddy, and he is working on something special. Full personality. Yeah, you know, I think she gets it from me. You see how boring my YouTube videos are. I think that'll give me enough walk room space here. End of the era, taking all my photography stuff down. I already started some of them, didn't think about recording. Oh, some of my good work. Like I said, it's the end of the era. I Meaning that my focus is on my reptiles. Alright, it's time for the assembly. Let's get this up without hitting the roof. <laughs> Barely. Unfortunately, well, I was trying to get out of the box in the hallway. The hallway's roof is a little lower, and I bink. And there's an apartment, so. Here we go with assembly. This is a very difficult situation. So this could be a difficult tight spot. You have the screw on one end, at least according to the instructions, you're supposed to put the screw on the flathead on one end and the washer on the other. Well, uh, a real easy, simple way is just to feed, what I was doing, feed the screw up slowly, have the washer in place, and go ahead and screw it in. All right, folks, there it is. The finished product. I didn't do too many shots because, man, it was brutal. Especially when, yikes, almost four. Especially when trying to get these things in. So, I don't know if I want to call it a night right now because I still got to go to the store, get some water for my wife and everything. But here's the finished product. My daughter's kind of sleepy. You sleepy, kid? You want to go, you want to, go to bed? Uh, not yet. I got to brush my teeth. Okay. It's only 10 o'clock right now. I usually go to sleep at 11. Yeah. Okay. I really have to go to school tomorrow. You don't have to. It's weekend. Yeah. Cool. Well, my teacher's name is Miss Stewart. Yeah. She just went to kindergarten. She just started. Yeah. She's just a fun. Be careful. I've got this stuff here. What do you think of the of the serpent rack? What do you think about it, hon? I love it. And I've never seen a building like that before. A building like that before. And it took a lot, so we'll definitely see one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, plus whatever we got in the middle for snakes. So, oh boy. So, yep, that's a rattlesnake. That is a big one. And you that's said this is the second one this week? I'm not going to mess with any rattle. Well, he's a pretty decent size, too. Yeah, that's bigger than the last one I saw. Alright, I'm gonna call maintenance. Yeah. I wouldn't even bother messing with it. It looks like you're just looking for a mate or something. I already warned somebody right there with her dog. Uh, he's coming around the other way. I think he's just trying to get back up there. Yeah, but the maintenance, the maintenance won't mess around with that. He'll kill it. Uh, yeah, unfortunately. Okay, so this is pretty much where we're at. 
this, like I said, this whole piece is going to go. So all this stuff here, I got to figure out where I'm going to put it. Daughter now has a dresser <laughs> she could use. Still pretty much a mess. I still got my uh, gopher snake here, kind of still quarantining him away from the pack. It's going to be a hard one because uh, you can see up there, it's not really, that's my uh, Peruvian milk snake. It's not really a really great area. If I switch to an Exoterra low on the bottom, I could lower these a couple of rungs. So at least that one might be in a more visible area. Of course, I still can't put another shelf up there. I just don't have the room. If I do, it's, it's, it's almost going to be a waste. You know, I'd have to have something really small. Here it is. So, man, kind of underestimated how many snakes I could have. I got one more there. Got two more coming in and one on hold. So one will be there, the bigger one. Those are my two ladies, Sugar and Passion. And now over there is Shadow, Medusa, my two frogs. I'll have to figure it out. Oh, in any case, I can still use the kid's top thing there. So we'll see. Stay tuned. Okay, so here's the current configuration, which is not too bad, but it could be better. Since I'm going with the large low for all my snakes, or at least the low type, so whether it's the large low or the medium low, they're still only going to be 12 inches tall. Nah, 12, 12 and a half. So what I want to do now is lower the shells down about that much, which is about... Uh, about two and a half so that way it could actually fit all five shelves so the second shelf will actually be there back up a little bit so where the blue tape is that's the placement of the second shelf then the placement of the third fourth fifth and so it'll be a little higher on the fifth shelf but I'm only planning on using it as storage the rest of the stuff on the bottom Shells one through four will be snakes and actually it'll lower it a little bit better Okay, an update on my progression as you can see I arranged everything in that the uh, low Large low medium low will just fit I already got two heat pads for sugar and passion right there in the middle And I'm just gonna go ahead and move kismet into this one I have to clean and sterilize her big one, as I'll use it for quarantine probably for the two, uh, one of the two snakes I've got coming in, uh, Paradox Ivory from uh, Garrick Damar. So you could see, I think it's going to work a lot better. And I'll have space up there for that. Still have another shelf for more animals. Frogs are over there. Okay, a quick update to conclude this video of where I stand several weeks later. This is where that room looks like here. As you can see, I have my uh, snakes on this side. Like I said, doing the exoterreras on the bottom. Large lows. Large lows in the middle. Probably keep the medium lows on the top for the smaller-ish snakes. I got some other snakes here. Decorated it a little bit with some of my decorations. Finally found something useful for this uh, toy pipe or uh, python snake I got in Mexico. Up there, cleaning supplies and what have you in storage. Still have room here for the water and other immediate use clean supplies. Still got to figure out what I'm going to do with this gecko here. I don't really need or want to continue with this Exoterrera. I was thinking about a different one. So I can merge that gecko and this gecko together. If I decide to keep them. Um, I did do redo my aquarium here. Which I'm totally digging the electric ram snails. And also the different color lobsters. I got a basically red, white, and blue. <laughs> so I might be redoing that tank with a different one as well uh, like I said there's the other gecko there's a voodoo 
shad or medusa shadow as well as my others and i'll do a reptile kind of profile just real quick of everything i have still have this big tank which i need to keep because i have another uh snake coming in and basically everything i'm storing is in there that was in the uh in my uh workbench got my frogs here there's no light on them but there's uh java Let's see hey java and then there's mirage so yeah basically that's it the only thing i gotta figure out is uh when i get more tanks and some other stuff rearranging them and also i use this as my garbage can so i gotta figure to get maybe a smaller one i use those as my soaking but you could see that for my kid she has more of a room now. I mean, it needs to be decorative a little bit, but more of a room here. She's going to get a new bed hopefully next month. Probably get another shelf. I to figure out what to do with my chair. But yeah, basically that is it. And the uh, closet's now her toy room. As you can see, all her toys are in there. And it's still a little bit of a storage well but uh, eventually we can just keep willing this away as far as the clutter so that is the plan so there we are with everything okay so just as I said when I think I'm done I had another idea which now I moved the geckos on top of this which is nice because now I can clear this off, have my flashlight, so when my daughter's sleeping here, I can go in here and get the snakes plus the gecko food and preparation utensils and cups are all right there for these guys. Still need to do something with this, but I need to hold it because I got another snake come in, like I said, but I could put my trash can on top of that. Now, I bought, or one on eBay, I should say, a couple of these puck lights. Those things right there. So it's a chain of five. One, two, three, four, five. So they don't have that many wattage, so I'm saving energy. Uh, move one of the puck lights, a single one I had for this gecko over here in a smaller tank, to Kismet down there, which you can see there. And then took my Zoo Med small light for Jojo. And then course use the big light here for both uh, with sugar and passion okay so you can see it gives light to all my pets now so everybody has light pretty much and all that and the frogs are up here which hopefully they won't be bothered too much to where they'll be uncomfortable Java tends to move around a lot and in case you're wondering who the screaming is, it's this guy right here. In all my videos, this guy who I had for 19 years. Yeah, you don't want to be on video, huh? His name is Phoenix. He's a Senegal parrot. I bought him in 96, 1996. And he sure still acts like a little boy. Huh, Phoenix? What? Say hi to the camera. Don't you dare fly. He's a scaredy cat. He talks big, especially when he doesn't get any attention. Yes, you do. I'll be quiet. See? Any mimics. So there it is. So uh, hopefully it'll be the very last video, as I thought that I was going to be. Um, as always, please comment below. Please subscribe. Would much appreciate it. I have more videos to do. Maybe I'll do a focus on this little annoying guy. Huh? I like it how he just cleans himself like, eh. I just wanted to ruin your video. Ah, I ruined your video. Ha ha ha. Watch me take a dump. I just did that. You are a little messy bird. My daughter seems to love him, huh? Yeah. So here it is. Annette, what do you think of the new arrangement? Look, I put the geckos on top of there. It looks great. It looks great? Mm -hmm. What are you eating? Oh, your dinner? Still? Huh. So, yes, comment, subscribe.